We are just a few days away from the Red River Showdown, Texas against Oklahoma, and a showdown that uh, this year won't have a lot of the show to go along with it. There will be no state fair this year, no marching bands in the stands, and uh, no nightmare parking situation either. And if all that's not weird enough, get this. This will be just the second time in the last 20 years that neither Texas nor Oklahoma is ranked in the top 20 coming into this matchup. If you ask me, another year, another win rather for the year 2020. Head coach Tom Herman, though, he's insisting that no one inside this building is panicking, even though a lot of people on the outside may be doing just that. Maybe I've got a bit longer memory than, than some, but just a just two short seasons ago, uh, you know, this program lost two straight in conference and wound up playing for the conference championship and winning a New Year's Six Bowl game. So we're, we're not uh, going to panic after three games. We're not going to panic after a two-point conference loss. And it's probably a good thing the team isn't panicking because the rest of the city sure is. Let's just say the message on some of the message boards, not too pretty. Herman was asked about this outside pressure on Monday. He said a conversation he had with Clemson head coach Dabo Sweeney over the weekend was exactly what he needed. It's not the, the water outside the boat that sinks ships. It's the water that you allow inside the boat that does. And so, um, you know, I, I reminded our players that on Sunday, it's pretty easy to be reminded that around here. Um, and, you know, our, our guys, they know what they signed up for, so did I. It's the Longhorns against the Sooners this Saturday from the Cotton Bowl kickoff at 11 a.m. Oklahoma looks to avoid losing three straight, and Texas looks to beat its rival for just the second time in the last six years.